Let's start our weekend off with some creativity. I'm Alana Nagy and this is Studio Saturdays. For today's activity, we'll be creating beaded bubble wands inspired by artist Manier Sharudi Farman Farmian. But before we get started, let's take a closer look at the artists featured from our collection. For today's art activity, you will need one wooden dowel or pencil, one pipe cleaner, some beads, and for the bubble solution, you will need two cups of warm water, one fourth cup sugar, and one fourth cup dish soap. This week's featured artist is Manir Sharudi Farman Farmian. She was a sculpture and installation artist born in 1922 in Kazvin, Iran. Focusing mainly on geometry, her sculptures like Second Family Triangle use glass and mirrors to emphasize light, lines, and shape. Farman Farmian often brings artistic inspiration from Islamic art into her work. To use this artwork as an example, the artist says that the triangle in Islamic design symbolizes, or represents through imagery, the intelligent human being and human consciousness. Consciousness is being able to think about yourself and the world around you. For example, when you think about what you want to have for lunch, or wonder why something makes you happy or sad, you are able to do these things because you are conscious. The geometric design of her mirror artworks is also inspired by mosques she would visit when growing up in Iran. In Islamic culture, calligraphy, geometric shapes, and floral or plant designs are used for the decoration of buildings. In many Islamic communities, this is partly because images of humans and animals were not allowed. This practice is called anaconism. Islamic art instead turned to words, flowers, and shapes to add beauty to buildings. Farman Farmignan's geometric artworks are influenced by this tradition. Farman Farmignan's mirrored artworks show the symbolism of water and life through shifting light. What reflects light, color, and life better than bubbles? Today we'll be making our own triangular bubble wands along with homemade bubble solution. Before we get started, let's take a moment to think like an artist. Think about different shapes. Can you think of different traits or things that they might represent? For example, a circle might represent the earth or a square could represent strength. What kind of shapes do you see in the architecture or design of the building in your home? Take your towel and your pipe cleaner. Wrap one end of the pipe cleaner around the end of the dowel and anchor it to the dowel. Next, put your beads on your pipe cleaner. You can choose whichever pattern you want. Once you've filled most of the length of your pipe cleaner, fold it into a shape and use the unattached end to connect it back to the dowel. I chose a triangle because Farman Farmignan's artwork is a triangle, but you can do any shape you want. Think back to our Think Like an Artist section where we talked about how different shapes have different meanings. What meaning do you want your bubble wand to be about? Optionally, you can use colored pencils, markers, or pens to draw or color on the handle of your bubble wand. Make your bubble wand unique as you are.
To create the bubble solution, combine two cups of warm water, one fourth cup of sugar, and one fourth cup of dish soap in a cup or bowl. Mix the solution up until the sugar is dissolved. Then add in your soap. Now you can dip your wand in and start blowing bubbles. The mirrors that make Farminon Farminon's artwork reflect color and images because light bounces off of the surface. Look closely at the bubbles you blow and you can also see colors and your own reflection in them because light bounces off of the surface of the soap just like a mirror. Think about the science and the history that goes behind light reflections and their connection to Islamic art with Farman Farmignon's artwork as we blow our bubbles. Thanks so much for joining me today while we created beaded bubble wands inspired by artist Manir Sharudi Farman Farmian. Be sure to join me next time where we'll be making travel scrapbooks inspired by Margaret Burke White. Have a great weekend and happy crafting! Thanks again for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with new videos. Get rewarded for your art! Submit a photo of your artwork to our contest for the chance to win a Sandflex gift card or to be featured on our social media. Scan the QR code or click the link in the description to learn more about the contest. Generous support for Studio Saturdays is provided by the Joe and Sarah Galloway Foundation, 